Greetings, citations. Now, this is what I've been working on today. That's done. Body work's done. I thought I was going to have to reskin this because uh, I welded it. You know, I just did a rosette weld every three inches, it looks like. And I got impatient and I, I TIG welded it all. And when I got done, it was pretty oil canny. And then my plasma cut these holes out. And the heat from the plasma uh, expanded the metal so it was humped right here. Now, if you saw in a previous video, it was all discolored from me heat shrinking it. And I got I got most of it out of there, but I used uh, an off dolly uh, hammer uh, method and used a shrinking hammer, which has you know teeth in the head. Now, I gotta find it to show you. But anyway, I left a bunch of you know divots in the metal, so I filled it. And then after I shut up, crow. And then. I added I added this piece, these two pieces, and these two pieces to give it some extra support. Because uh, I've got this latch in here and I didn't want this center section to be, you know, taking all the abuse from opening and closing the door. So I welded all this stuff in, I tigged it in, and, and then the heat from taking these pieces in distorted this center piece. I thought, well, you know, it's already on. I'll try to straighten it out. So I managed to do that. I got it all you know, sucked back down, but there was still, like I said, some waves in here. So I just filled it with a little skim coat of Bondo. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for this. I mean, I mean, there's waves all over this bus for crane all out. This piece of steel, um, which I had already uh, cut, I already fabbed it for the old battery box and I already cut the hole in for the uh, battery box and I did all the framing over there and I didn't check it and I discovered that my piece of steel was, th uh, that this piece right here was three quarters of an inch into the hole, into the existing cut. So my choices were $52 for a new piece of uh, for a 4x10 piece of that 20 gauge or cut this piece out and uh, raise it up. So that's what I did. I cut that piece out and raise it up and now it fits. Let me lock it up for you. I'll show you. So that's what the old battery box opening used to look like. And that's what it looks like now. Frame is painted, ready for a skin. Uh, I have the door stripped off of there so I could uh, epoxy prime the back side. That's going to get painted both inside and outside. This door's got pure 15 paint on the inside with uh, the black enamel over top of that, and then that's going to remain black. Just like the um, generator cabinet. Uh, but I'm gonna after this paint dries I'm going to uh, Put this skin on for the last time Rivet it in place. I need to go pick up some some of that window weld so I can glue that in So I got one more piece of uh, metal to put in This top area right here to provide a flange for uh, the weather stripping I want this door to fit you know, be, to be weather tight, I don't care too much about the one over there for the HVAC. But this one, I want it to be weather tight. I want water getting in from up here. But that's the only piece I got left to put in there. And then tomorrow, I'm going to POR 15, all that framework, and the uh, the sheet metal. Look at that! Isn't that nice? It is so white. I swear to goodness, man. I'm driving down a highway. That's going to blind people on a Sunday, on a sunny day. I'm going to have to put some kind of graphic. There's a whole bunch of real estate between that back window and those front windows. I think you put some kind of graphic up in that field. That's a lot of naked space right there. Something. Oh! So some stuff came in the mail today. 
Well, that's some crappy light. There we go. So I got some stuff from Speedway Motors. Let's look at it. It's one of them bulkhead connectors, right? So this is a non-conductive material. Uh, this will go through the side of the box. And then you have a brass connector where I can attach my battery cables to the connector. And then this goes through the metal. I don't have to actually drill a hole and put a grommet and run the wire through. That'd be one way to do it, but this is, I think this is a more better way. And then I also have a um, battery disconnect in that battery box. So you can just flip a switch, kill the batteries. We'll get back on it tomorrow. Okay, so here's the battery box with the base in it. Um, I've got the back panel in and I've got these inside the garage. I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna do the battery connection here. So I got these bulkhead connectors. So I've got two um, 950 cold cranking amp batteries right now. And I got room for four in here. I bought the only two that Tractor Supply has. These ones. Made up some battery cables. So you can daisy chain them like that. battery cables hook up to here and then those cables will hook up to the back side back in there and I'm so happy because Tractor Supply opened a store here in Pahrump a couple of weeks ago we're finally a legitimate town we have a super Walmart and we have a Tractor Supply and a home to pot Battery box complete. That sucked. That was a lot of drilling and a lot of riveting. And my knees are killing me. So what do I gotta do? Oh, I can work on this now. That's done. Now I need to work on this. So I've got this piece made. I just need to trim it. So I'm gonna do that right now. I made that. What do you think? Should that hold? Got one more thing to do over here in the battery box. That's good enough. Now, to finish this out totally, I need to get the weather stripping. You probably got to get another tube of that. Uh, uh, black caulk that uh, window weld put that panel on here and screw or drill it pre-drill it and take it off and clean all the burrs off and then get some more of that black stuff that stuff's $30 a tube and then glue it in and then rivet it in and then this will be done tomorrow I'm going to try to get uh, the um, door both doors primered and painted before they go on and then um, towards the end of the week 
I'll be finishing up masking <laughs> masking this thing off again and weather permitting I'll get the rest of the gray done hopefully I don't know if I got the money to do it this week might have to hold off to it I don't want to because the weather's starting to turn it's gonna get too cold to paint soon but uh, maybe Google will pay me It's 4.30 in the afternoon, and the sun has set, or just about has set. It's going to be dark in 20 minutes. Everything drilled. Uh, pull this thing back off tonight, shove it in the corner, or I'll bring it inside, I'll deburr it, and then tomorrow I'll put it on. See you tomorrow.